Hello guys, in today's video we'll be talking about the type of materials which are used in an aircraft. It is believed that between 2019 and 2038, the number of airline passengers is expected to, to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 4.6%. As a result, the aerospace manufacturers are finding ways to incorporate new and existing material that had once been considered impractical to machine. While choosing materials for an aircraft, multitude factors such as efficiency, comfort, safety and reliability is taken into consideration. The materials chosen for an aircraft must not compromise for strength, elasticity, weight and corrosion resistance. In the beginning, I will be discussing about the materials which are used in a fuselage. A fuselage is a principal structure of an aircraft where it supplies room for crew, passengers, accessories and other equipments. There are two fuselage designs namely monocoque design and semi-monocoque design. A monocoque design relies largely on the strength of plane shell to carry different loads and stresses acting on it similar to an egg shell. A semi-monocoque design is reinforced by a complete framework of structural member, a reinforced beam called longerons which extends across the width of the plane and stringers across the length of the plane. Vertical reinforcement on fuselage are carried out at different spaces to carry the stresses where the wings and engine are attached. A semi-monocoque design is now commonly used as it can sustain considerable damage. During the earlier century, fuselages were made of wood, but due to obvious reason that is weight was a factor for their extinction. But during the 20th century, classic wire braced wood and fabric biplane were used by German military for their legendary dogfights. Since the steel fuselage is stronger and stiffer, and moreover due to its heavy weight prevented it from becoming popular. But a classic example is a 1930H Beach Stagger Wing aircraft, which is a primary example of an airplane with steel fuselage. Advancement in engine technology made engineers to choose metal of lower weight. That is why aluminum alloy was chosen as it is strong and lightweight, but aluminum is not used on the surface of supersonic plane as the friction from the flying plane generate heat causing aluminum strength to decrease. The examples of metal planes of 1930s are the Boeing 247D and the Douglas DC-3. The next which is a titanium fuselage is also an ideal material for aircraft. But the major buyer for titanium is the SR-71 Blackbird which is first flown. It can fly from Los Angeles to Washington DC in 1 hour and 4 minute with an average speed of 2100 miles per hour. The next is called as a carbon composite fuselage which is made from Brazilian carbon fiber embedded in epoxy resin. The carbon composite material can be stacked in number of ways. This material is as strong as aluminium but yet half the weight. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner was the first major plane to use titanium over half of its fuselage. The next I'll be talking about the wings which are used in an aircraft. The wing is designed as a combination of different type of material depending on the function. A wing consists of a spar, skin, ribs and control surfaces such as aileron and flaps. Steel and aluminium alloy can be used in the manufacturing of ribs while composite materials are used in the wing skin design. It is estimated that one percentage reduction in the amount of drag can save about 400,000 liters of fuel. Empennage is a tail of an airplane consisting of horizontal stabilizer and a vertical stabilizer, elevator and rudder. 
The structural design of horizontal and vertical stabilizer are same as that of a wing. Each stabilizer consists of two cell box which consists of a main structural box, auxiliary torque box, a forward torque box, leading edge and a trailing edge. The torque box consists of a CFRP composite material. This material provides resistance to impact damage. While a auxiliary torque box consists of a glass of carbon fiber reinforced plastic which are sandwiched between aluminium ribs. The leading edge and the trailing edge are made of aluminium construction. The next is the wheels. The aircraft wheel is an important component of landing gear system. With tires mounted, they help in aircraft taxi, takeoff, and landing. The aircraft wheel are made from aluminium alloy. They are made stiffer to absorb the forces of landing without blowing out. A two-piece aircraft wheel are used in modern aircraft. The halves are bolted together and they contain grooves of the mating surface. The bead seat area is where the tire actually contact the wheel with the surface. This area is rolled to pre-stress it with the compressive stress load. The inner wheel half have one or more thermal plug. The thermal plug core is filled with low melting point alloy. The heat shield is commonly installed to protect the wheel and tire from overheating. The next is called the landing gear, also called as an undercarriage, which is a complex system consisting of structural mem members, hydraulics, energy absorption, and wheels. The material used must be strong to support heavy takeoff when the aircraft has full load of fuel and should be able to withstand high impact load. So the material used are high strength steel and titanium alloy. Next, coming to the aircraft windows. The aircraft windows are made of plexiglass such as Lexan polycarbonate acrylic plastic. This material is lightweight and relatively strong. The glass is layered and the hole in the middle is to balance the air pressure between the, the passenger cabin and the air gap. Next, the airline seat is a seat on an airline in which passengers are accommodated. The seats are arranged in a row across the airplane's fuselage. The material used are lightweight but strong and fire resistant. The typical design is an aluminium frame with blocks of polyurethane foam. In some case, a layer of fire resistance fabrics are also included. During the 1970s, brighter colors such as red and orange became popular, but certain airlines such as the Emirates and other airlines use soft colors on their seat. Next, the airline carpet must be durable, strain resistant and flame proof. Wool and nylon carpet meets the above requirement, but nylon are preferred because of low price. Next, the gas turbine engine is any IC engine employing gas as working fluid. This is an IC engine consisting of a compressor, a combustion chamber and a turbine. They produce useful work as propulsive thrust are obtained from a gas turbine engine. And they develop thrust by accelerating the turbine's exhaust flow through a nozzle. The fan used in a gas turbine engine are made of aluminium, titanium or stainless steel since they don't get very hot. But most engines use titanium because of high strength to weight ratio and they are able to withstand a bird strike. The compressors are made of nickel, cobalt or iron based alloy and additives like aluminium or titanium as well as rare elements like yttrium are added to increase corrosion resistance. The temperature and pressure can also increase up to 30 times and there are also chances for a creep. Creep is a tendency of metal to change shape when stressed at a high temperature. In a combustion chamber, the temperature can exceed up to 1800 degrees Celsius and again super alloy like titanium or aluminium are used. 
and refractory metal like tungsten, molybdenum or niobium may also be used. Since they are densest metal, they can keep the weight minimum. Ceramic or ceramic metal mix are also used for high resistance. The first set of turbine blades are of high pressure, therefore they are made of nickel based super alloy or ceramics. Further down, since the engine is cooled, they are made of iron based super alloy or stainless steel. The material used by turbine blade are of single crystal, as a result they are stronger. And finally the casing. Although it need not need to withstand high temperature like the core of the turbine, the material made must be strong enough that if a blade breaks off, it must be contained within the casing without causing any further damage. Therefore, the materials used are aluminium or some polymer matrix material are used for engine casing. If you all found this video informative, do like and comment. Thank you.